way this was conceptualized in the beginning was so that you could take this system and fold it up and stick it in a cargo pocket. That's why it's called the Pocket Hunter. It is built on a standard Marksman wrist rocket slingshot. This is a heavy duty steel construction with a plastic handle slingshot. This is, even though they sell these in Walmart and places like that, these things are no toy. They will kill medium sized game without question and I'll show you pictures to prove that. Okay, There is a piece of paracord ran through the pocket which is your arrow capturing device that captures the knock of your arrow. It comes standard with orange. You could put any color in here you wanted to. The adapter that comes on this device, the actual pocket hunting adapter, and this is the patented portion of this system, has a butterfly screw on the back side. It is reversible. So it can be put on this slingshot in either direction. It will only fit and is only molded to fit this marksman slingshot. So now I can use this thing as a regular slingshot if that's what I choose to do and shoot regular ball ammunition out of it. I can just take this piece of cord out of it, just got a knot tied in the end of it and use this as a regular slingshot that's going to be very powerful with ball type ammunition. The adapter itself is set up so that it can go on with the Pathfinder logo to the front or to the back. And the reason it's set up like that is because on the back side of this adapter there are two slots molded in. And those molded slots are what allow you to put a fishing reel attachment of sorts on this system. And basically that is a spool with a cap on it so that you can keep your string and other assorted accoutrements for bow fishing inside this. And then it simply snaps onto the adapter like this and locks on. So and snaps off. It's just push on, push off. So what you'll do is you will take this adapter as it comes and you'll turn it around so that those slots are to the front. Just like this. It just snaps right on the front. And again it's reversible so you can put it on either way. It has a lock washer. Put your threaded thumb screw in and again it's designed with a thumb screw so you don't have to have any tools to mess with this and then you would put your fishing reel attachment on the front and snap it in and that contoured reel allows me to wrap line around the front of this loosely so that I can then shoot an arrow for fishing to use this at the water's edge and we'll talk more about that in a few minutes so let's take that off to begin with now it does not matter when you shoot this whether you have this adapter on front ways or back ways. In other words, if you've got the fishing attachment to the front or to the back, it doesn't matter. It's still going to shoot exactly the same. For sake of this demonstration, I'm going to put it on the other way only because the logo's on the front and that's the way it was designed to be displayed for sale. And that may be the way that you receive it, so I want to show it to you in the way you receive it. Again, that thumb screw just allows for easy assembly and disassembly without tools. So this is the way you'll receive your pocket hunter, especially if you buy it from the Pathfinder store. Now, let's talk about the concept of loading an arrow in here, and let's talk a little bit about this adapter and why this adapter is designed the way it is. All right, to truly understand this system you have to have a, a base knowledge of both how to shoot a slingshot as well as archery and that's the bottom line as far as the design and engineering of this part is it takes knowledge in both of those areas to be able to make something that's going to be effective on a slingshot for launching an arrow it has a solid device for your arrow to rest on and it doesn't matter what position you hold that slingshot in it's going to be on a nice flat rest you can hold it sideways straight up and down, left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter. It's always going to lay in that rest exactly the same way. Don't ever shoot a crossbow bolt out of this thing unless you want to compromise A, safety, and B, accuracy, and C, power. You, can't, you can shoot any arrow out of this device, but any arrow that does not have feathered fletchings, if it has plastic veins, they're going to deflect off of this arrow rest which is going to throw the accuracy of your arrow off. 
You need feathers that will compress when they go past that rest. So when they go through this rest, they will compress and there's no deflection. You have to have that for maximum accuracy. The lighter weight your arrow is, the faster it's going to shoot. There is a 110 grain field point on most of the arrows that we sell, although we do sell broadheads and we do sell a fishing tip for these arrows as well. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. The important part to understand is you need to have feathers on your arrow and you want to shoot the lightest arrow you can possibly find. We also sell a heavier hunting band that looks like this and you can see the diameter is much different and size is much different in this band. And these are 52, 53 pounds at 28 inches. So they're a much heavier hunting style band made for larger game animals. These larger hunting bands are well worth the investment if you're trying to hunt bigger game. These will do you plenty if you're just trying to use this for small game or a backup hunting device. Okay, let's talk about arrows real quick. There are other takedown arrows available on the market or on other websites, but what I will tell you is this. We have spent the better part of three years developing these takedown arrows. They are the only takedown arrows like them on the market, and they are the most accurate with the least amount of run out on the market today, I feel very confident in telling you that these are the absolute best there is available. There is nothing else that comes close. When we first developed this product and I started working with takedown arrows, I started out by just taking an insert like this one and putting one of them on each end of the arrow, similar to this, and then using all thread in another piece of this and epoxying it on one side and screwing it in. I started with steel, I went to aluminum. The problem with all of that stuff is what's called run out. And run out is how straight that arrow is for its overall length. Once you start screwing components together, that's when run out becomes a huge problem because now you've taken one piece, cut it into three, and you're trying to put it back together with a screwing device like this. And when you get it together, it may be like this, it may be like this, that's exaggerated, but it could just be a little bit off, but it throws the flight of that arrow off considerably with very little run out whatsoever. They're designed with a shoulder or a sleeve on them that automatically aligns both inserts when they're screwed together so that it causes near zero run out. And we have put these on run out machines and checked them. You get three of those arrows in a plastic tube that you can put in your backpack just like this. Three arrows come in this tube. Now, of course you guys know I'm all about multifunctionality. I'm all about can I use it for this, that, and the other thing. So I would not be satisfied with an arrow like this that could not be shot from any bow because that's the purpose of it. These are backup arrows and the Pocket Hunter was really designed to be a backup hunting tool to shoot arrows. I can shoot ball ammunition out of a slingshot and kill small game all day long with it. Squirrels, rabbits, and the like. But if I want to use that thing for fishing, or if I want to use that thing to hunt medium-sized game, I really need to shoot arrows out of it. And to do that, I had to be able to make sure that any arrow I was going to use for my bow could be used with that slingshot and vice versa. This arrow has been shot out of a 60-pound compound bow multiple times to check for accuracy. I shoot these arrows out of my longbows consistently all of the time, and I'll show you a demo on that here in just a few minutes. So when you buy arrows like this, you're not only buying an arrow for your slingshot, you're buying an arrow for your pocket hunter, you're buying an arrow that you can use with any bow you have. So you can put a couple, three tubes of these in your backpack, and you have a very compact way of carrying the arrows for your possibly takedown bow or your pocket hunter in your backpack as well. Okay, let's talk about broadheads for a minute, because if you're going to hunt with this bow, obviously you can hunt small game with a, a field tip just like this. Very easily, it's no problem. But if you're going to hunt medium-sized type game, you're going to want a broadhead. We have a broadhead that is designed specifically for this arrow, the same weight exactly as the field point that's sold with it. It is a solid construction, three-blade three welded broadhead. This is not a collapsible, it's not an expandable. I don't believe in moving parts. I think they're a pain, and I don't think they're durable and they last. This tip will last you over and over and over again, and you can resharpen it. It's a solid steel construction, heavy duty, high carbon broadhead. 
Okay, let's talk about fishing tips real quick because we may want to hunt fish with our bow. We also have a specially designed screw in, not glue on, fishing tip that's barbed on both sides. Heavy steel construction works really, really well. It weighs a little bit more. You're going to sacrifice accuracy over distance, but you shouldn't be shooting fish more than about 10 or 12 feet. And it's not going to matter at that point. You don't even need feathers on the arrow at that kind of a distance. So this is a very good hunting type head for fishing around the water's edge with your arrow. We sell this tip separately and we also sell it with a fishing arrow that we'll discuss in just a minute. Okay, let's talk real quick about the fishing arrow and then we're going to get to the fun stuff and start shooting this dude. The fishing arrow that we sell is a three-piece takedown arrow just like the others. It has a stop on it made by AMS that's made for fishing arrows and you get all the pieces and parts that go with it. You're going to get the spool on cardboard of bank line with the arrow attachment on it. And what you'll do with that is you'll just remove it from the cardboard and you will slide the arrow through the stop just like this. And that is designed to stop against the back of the arrow so that it pulls line off the spool after you shoot it. Once you've done that, you put your fishing tip back on the arrow. Then you have an attachment point or a just a small swivel here and that swivel gets attached directly to the bottom of the frame just like this and once you attach that to the frame you cannot lose your arrow you got plenty of line here more than you really need like I said most of the fishing that you're going to do is really going to take place very close up um, I've done bow fishing plenty of times and I can tell you that most of your shots are going to be 10 12 feet unless you're shooting at aerial targets like jumping carp or something like that your shots are going to be very very close if you're trying to shoot large bullfrogs on the other edge of the creek bank or something like that or you're trying to shoot carp or catfish or gar you're going to get close shots so you won't have to worry about being a million miles away and having that much string and it comes on this cardboard just for your convenience not because this is something meant permanently to wrap it around so once you've taken all of that off, you'll take your line and run it out. And it's good to stretch this stuff out and get the kinks out of it anyway the first time you use it. And then we'll get our fishing attachment attached to the front and I'll show you how to set that whole thing up. Okay, like I said, all of this line can be stored inside this spool. That's why it has a cap on it so that when you put it in your kit, you have a place to store. The caps are on there good. You have a place to store all of that gear, that line, and this stopper and all of that stuff can just be stuffed down inside here. So to fish with this, we have to take the adapter off if we're using it as it comes. Now, like I said, it does not matter which way this adapter is on here to shoot any arrow. It doesn't matter if it's on there frontwards or backwards. It will still shoot an arrow, but it's totally reversible. So we'll put this thing on in the fishing configuration. And again, you know, this stuff is really easy on off, easy to take down, easy to put back together. It doesn't take a long time in the field to mess with this stuff. Then we attach our fishing attachment to the front. We attach our line to the frame, wherever we want to do that. You can do it on the side, you can do it on the bottom, it really doesn't matter. Then what you're going to do is you're going to loosely wrap this line on the spool, just like this. And it does not have to be wrapped on there tight. If you wrap it on there tight, it's going to tangle up on you a lot worse than if you wrap it on there loose. So you just wrap it around there. Just keep kind of going back and forth with it. And you can decide how much line you need. We give you plenty. Now, what's going to happen with this is when you load this and you draw it back, it's going to pull this insert or the stop backwards like this. When you shoot it and the arrow travels forward, this stop will catch or this connector will catch on the stop back here and that will remove line from the spool. Now you're not going to reel it in by trying to wrap around the spool. You're going to pull the fish in by hand and then you're going to rewrap it just like you would do if you were bow fishing with an open reel. 
Okay, so real quick before we shoot this slingshot, let's talk about loading this slingshot because that's a question I get a lot. What you're going to do is you're going to set the arrow in the rest. This string is designed to trap the knock, just like that. The knock goes into that string. And when you pull backwards on this system, it will lock it in place. It locks that knock into a V in that pocket so that it can't come out. It's trapped on the string and it's trapped by the pocket. Then when you release it and it comes forward, the pocket will open up and it will come off the string. And I'll show you that a little bit more when we're out shooting this thing. Okay, so let's talk about loading a slingshot in the field. What I generally do is I will put it right across the slingshot just like that. I'll bring my bands up, stretch them just a little bit and make sure that I'm locking into that string. And then I will let it slide forward and come up. Just like that and if you hold that in place when you pull back on the string it's going to automatically lock that arrow in just like that now you can shoot this thing two different ways you can shoot it by holding on to the knot and this is the way my father shoots it or you can take the string with two fingers like this like you're shooting a bow and it's exactly the same posturing as if you were shooting a bow. It's exactly the same, there is no difference. Anchor point and release. It's exactly the same. This arrow has been chronographed at 115 feet per second at a professional archery range. And there's the shot and that was at about 12 yards the other question i get quite often about the pocket hunting system is what is the maximum effective hunting range of that system and for me to be honest i would say 12 to 15 yards on medium sized game and i would go inward from there to 10 yards for small game because i want to ensure my accuracy and the accuracy of this thing is about a pie plate at 15 yards so small game is smaller than a pie plate so I'm going to get a little closer. 